Hi, it's Steve from Parts Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the ice bin auger drum on your refrigerator. It's a pretty easy job, only going to need a few tools, a quarter inch nut driver, and a flat blade screwdriver, and probably a pair of channel locks. Let me show you how to do it. To replace the drum on the auger bin, you first need to shut off the ice maker. Just raise the shut off arm. Slide the ice bin out and we'll put it on a flat surface where we can work on it. The next step in this repair will be to remove the front cover from the bin. It's held in place by five quarter inch hex head screws, two on each side and one in the middle just above the auger. Slide the cover away from the drum. Next, we're going to remove four more quarter inch X head screws, two on the inside of the drum and two on the bottom side. This secures the housing to the ice bin. Turn it upside down again. We're ready to pull the housing off of the front. We need to remove one more screw that holds the actuator arm for the crusher. Take note of the location of the retaining spring. In case it becomes dislodged, we'll know where to put it back to. slide the housing and the auger out through the drum and set it on a work surface. Next, we'll remove the E-ring from the end of the auger shaft using a flat blade screwdriver. Slide it out of its groove. Put that aside and also remove the large flat washer as well. Next, we'll remove the auger from the front housing, just carefully slide it out. That will expose the crusher arms and the assembly. Now that we have the auger assembly removed from the housing, we need to remove this nylon nut on the very end of the shaft. It's a left-hand thread. A pair of channel locks will work nicely on that. And there's a series of bushings cutter arms that will have to come off. So we want to lay those out carefully so we know how to put them back together. Or if you have a digital camera, it's a good time to take a picture of it. We slide the cover off of the drum and remove the drum. The 
old drum had a drive bar that was keyed to the shaft that set into the drum so the drum would drive when the shaft turned. The replacement drum is keyed to the shaft so it doesn't need the drive arm anymore. But they do supply a large flat washer that will go on the shaft first. And the hub of that drum is recessed on one side flush on the other. Recess side will go on first. Next we'll install the cover. And we'll begin to reinstall cutter arms. First bushing, cutter arm, another bushing, Probably best to pre-assemble this piece. Spacer, third cutter arm, last spacer, and the retaining nut. Remember that's the left hand thread. Tighten it up with a pair of channel lock pliers. Now we're ready to reassemble it into the housing. Next, we're going to locate the pin on the fixed cutter bar block under the cover, line it carefully with the housing, slides through, at this point we can install a large thrust washer. channel lock pliers is the best tool to use to snap that E-ring back into place. And we're ready to put this assembly back into the bin. Before we reassemble the auger assembly of the drum, we need to install the carrot over the end of the auger to make sure that it lines up with the end of the spring. Notch and the coupling is lined up with the end of the spring as well. Next, we'll slide the bin down over the whole assembly. screws. Next we'll reattach the spring mounting clip for the pressure arm. three inside quarter inch hex head screws to secure the housing to the pin. Check the rotation of the auger, make sure it turns freely. And we're ready to put the front housing on. screw inside the drum. And the remaining 
four on the sides. Again, we'll check the operation, make sure the auger turns freely. We're ready to reinstall it into the refrigerator. Simply slide the ice bin back on its track. Don't forget to lower the ice maker shutoff arm. And our repair is complete. That's just how easy it is to change the ice bin auger drum on your refrigerator. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your repair.